धागा साहब के लिए एक टैक्सी मंगाओ मैं टैक्सी से क्यों जाऊंगा If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Yes, point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The butcher's boys slap the shit. मैंने कहा ना मैं हर काम पैसे के लिए नहीं करता. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the right thing. Square was Sal, and he'd be able to get a point for them back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn, Duffy's it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. So we deal with Bob. इसका खाना भी ना ठीक से करना. और दुआ में याद रखना कचहरी से नहीं डरता हूँ मैं समझी क्या छूटने के बाद सबसे पहला तेरे को धक्के मार के घर से बाहर निकालूंगा Rubble stones in the lakes of Ulla are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, yeah, caught ten run at the first sign of trouble. You always have. You always will. You and me are going for a little ride. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first. The chalky or the mick. <laughs> all right, all right. You proved your point, your mongrel sap. Pull over here. Get the fuck out of my ride. Stop by me shop. We can talk business there. Jump. Jump. Eh. Hold it up. Max is doing that. Got me about Barbieri. Barbieri. जो इज्जत नहीं करते मैं उनका बाप बन कर सुल्तान Set the whole thing up myself, and that gunny fuck comes in, and takes it from me, smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's gonna suffer. You hear? Days slow. What else has he got? Yes, and come on once again. Ah, yes, and once again. And Ireland long. A province be a nation once again. Surprise to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. 
And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Room Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. Bevis is up to, you're gonna have to get at some of his people. I got beer that needs drinking. Move it. Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the robodo? Fuck no. क्या नाम है तेरा शोब खान और तेरा जावेद पैंट पहनना शुरू नहीं किया और चोरी करना चालू निकल में भागने में आसानी रहती है ना जुबान चलाता है चल पुलिस स्टेशन मुझे अंदर करके कौन सा मेडल मिलने वाला है तेरे को आधे सिक्के रख ले दो तीन थप्पड़ मार और बात खत्म कर अबे चिंदी चोर कैसी बात कर रहा है तू तू तो ऐसे बोल रहा है जैसे सुल्तान मिर्जा हो सुल्तान हर आदमी के साथ था जहाँ जहाँ सरकार गरीबों की मदद करने में चूकी वहाँ वहाँ सुल्तान उनके लिए आगे बढ़कर खड़ा हो गया बुजुर्गो की कहानियों में एक ही राजा होता था इस कहानी में दो हैं एक राजा बना अपने जिगर से दूसरा अपनी जिद से बनना चाहता था Oh, you want for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Oh, 
Look out. Took his life like it wasn't nothing. wants to blame someone, she look in the mirror. Fucker will find out. We'll come back and not just you, me, but Ma, Penny, kids, everybody. Now, we gotta get ahead of this. You could always put it on Burke. Huh? तुम मुझे अब 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 जाने भी दो बच्चा ही तो है दर्द पटून कंपनी सी और अ 614 टैंक डिस्ट्रॉयर बटालियन डरिंग वर्ल्ड वॉर टू I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Glimbach. Glimbach was that little. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right. Celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims, never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Children, children, I Sultan to become king. And in the Sultan, there was one name. Rehana. इस कहानी की सबसे खूबसूरत और अहम कड़ी रिहाना बहुत बहुत मुबारक हो मैडम जी सम बार्स विद स्पेशल पेट्रोल मिक्स इट कुक्ड अप Scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. He fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might.
Hey, I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Come get me, boy! Take a cover! Gibbs on that gun. Anybody gonna shoot that asshole? Should have saved a bullet or two. The nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fit. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct merely because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. <sighs> Die. Blinking it is then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. Convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man that's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look where the fucking got me. The sense changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now they are. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Excuse me. Oh, I was going to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. 